Hey, welcome back to the Fandom Minutes. I'm Mike. And this is Matt. And I found this really cool video and I showed it to Mike and we thought this is going to be really cool to try. Oh, look at that bubbly cheese. Ooh, look at that. Just wrapped. Wrap it. Oh, look at that shine. Look at that grease. It's beautiful. Oh, it's a fat man dream. One, two, three, four hot dogs. Ooh, Make sure ooh, your pan is there, Dave. Oh, yes, look at that topography of that cheese. Spank it. Spank it. Yeah. yeah Wrap that baby up. One. Wrap it up. Make sure he's warm. Oh, yes. Dude, this yeah. looks so fun. Yeah, I can't wait. I think it's going to be taste really good. I honestly, I don't know what to think, but I know it's going to be good. Now, you're it's on the keto be. diet, right? I am. I am. Uh, which obviously means, you know, low carb. And a good thing about this is it's got two simple ingredients, both of which are very low in carb. So yeah, yeah. I'm not cheating, so that's good. Yeah. That's good. Uh, I am a little bit worried that the grease might kill us, but uh, other than that, I really think it's going to be great. Um, I fried up cheese like this before, and it kind of tastes like a cheese it Yes, it has a very crispy, crispy. noticeable texture yeah. taste thing. So, yeah, I think it'll be good. It's kind of it's a little bit like a... a it's like a cheese it but not. You just have to try it. And then with a hot dog in, inside, like I think it's going to be great. So I'm looking forward to trying this. So uh, we're going to go to our master chef, Nacho Becca. Is it doing it? Hello, everybody. It's a Nacho Becca. And we're going to be cooking nacho food. Now, I got some so I got some sausages. I got me here some, some, uh, ho dogs, some beefy boys here, some beefy boys. We're going to open the beefy boys up. Alright, so first step is to open it up. This is disgusting. I wish I had gloves for this. <laughs> and then we got a plop. They said to do four at a time, but we like to live dangerously. And we're doing eight. We're doing eight of these babies. Seven. Eight. And then what we do is we're going to put a little bit of pizzazz on. We're going to put some heat on that. This is what the inside of the bag looks like. Look at that nasty stuff. That disgusting. Look, look, it's all water. Oh god. So how do I know when the hot dogs are done? Somebody come get her. She dancing with your hot dogs. Like my mama always said, if you don't dog in the hot, the crisscross won't fire. Ooh, this is gonna be great. They need to be charred. Yes. Look at that. Look at that heat coming off. We're gonna add our secret ingredient. It's chemical MB for nacho business. How do I get this stuff out? I hope they're not allergic to this. There you go, that's really how you just get get the spice. Grab it and uh oh no, that fell. How am I gonna get that? How am I gonna get that over there? How am I gonna Oh, I'm not quite remote. Yes, BB. Oh. Cooking's hard. Next up, we got the cheese. Now, this is medium cheddar. So, uh, that's something. She's burning up the cheese. We gotta make sure these sausages are good. 
Appetizing enough for everyone? Somebody come get her. She's messing up the food. So we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen. But it's fine. It was on its food network. All you had to do was just roll the hot dog in it. It's simple. All you gotta do is roll the hot dog. It'll be simple, they said! Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna eat some of this cheese. Like, I mean, it's nice, fresh cheddar cheese. Mmm, good. Mmm, oh, good. Alright, now we can get our fork and our spatula. Eh. Ooh, that, that middle, that, that's looking promising. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that is some crispy cheese. Welcome back. Uh, we're here with this amazing dish from Nacho Becca. Uh, so uh, what have you conjured up for us this evening? So today we've got some cheddar cheese fried till crispy brown wrapped with a hot dog i i don't think they were supposed to be brown <laughs> they're wrapped with a hot dog <laughs> so you made cheese wrapped in hot dog did you like fillet the hot dog and then wrap it in it did you do it backwards did you put the <laughs> cheese and then fillet the hot dog around it yes okay. that's well, really talented it, it's a hot dog with cheese on it and the cheese is supposed to be golden brown okay okay just so you know uh-huh and uh, I miss I mixed a little secret ingredient in with it. Okay. And it's, every one of them, or just in a couple? It's, it's just a secret ingredient. It's called NB. NB. Not your business. Oh, okay. So, are you guys ready? I guess so. How do these look? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh! My. Do they even? Can, can we like? They almost look like, like crispitos or something. I think they're like fused. Can we? Can we get it like a? We need a fork or something. That's good though, dude. She got that in video. So this one's mine. This one's yours. We're just gonna handle these these greasy <laughs> things. What? Are you too scared? No, I didn't say that. So these top ones are a little bit special. Oh so, boy. So this is one of the special ones. The yep. Yeah, these. What's what's the old boy? She's so special. <laughs> I'm I'm just curious okay. what this. And you did. Is. Like how beautiful that is. It's pretty nice. Like, yeah. Mm, it smells good. It smells good. So I, I'm hearing that the kitchen was smoky. Do we know anything of why there was smoke filled in the kitchen? <laughs> well, you see, the secret to a good meal is good smoke. All right. So okay. okay. I guess give this a shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Toast. <laughs> I'm getting like a bacony taste to it. And I like it. Mm. Hot, I'm, I'm assuming that's the hot dog. Okay. Give it that little extra kick. But and then whatever that extra extra ingredient was, which I still have not figured out. It's because it's not your business. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you break it open. Isn't that good? Look at that. Pure hot dog. It's 100% grade A hot dog. So the hot dogs we used, 
I just realized my our mic is probably picking up like every bite we're taking and <laughs> all the savory goodness. Hell, welcome back to our mukbang. Or mukbang. I think it's, I think it's called I think it's called ASMR. Isn't that, that, what, isn't that what the kids call it now? Well, that's just mukbang. the voices and stuff. Oh. This is when you're eating food and like. It's mukbang. It's mudbane. Mukbang. <laughs> oh, mudvane. You know? <laughs> yeah, mudvane. The band. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay, so these four are the different ones. Now... I like this one. Next, you guys gotta try the bottom. Okay. okay. It does have a good flavor. I like the crispy bark. I feel like it needs something, though. Maybe, I don't know. Bacon? Yeah. I don't know. I am gonna... I'm gonna set the rest of this aside so I can try one of these other ones real quick. All right. So you said these ones are normal? These ones yes. Mm -hmm. See if we can tell the difference. Ooh, look at that. Look at that grease. Okay. I'll, look try, at mine. I'll try mine too. Hold on, hold on. Let me get a drink to, to wash out my taste. I'm going to do mine too. I'm going to try this one. Okay. Uh, okay. Ah. Gingerly touch tips. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is different. Mm. Okay. So I, right away I can tell this this one, and it might just be because it's on the bottom. Mm -hmm. A lot more greasy. And I like it. <laughs> I don't I don't know why the grease makes it <laughs> makes so much better, but oh look at that. Look at the crispy just crispy cheese. Can you tell what kind of cheese it is? So from this one here for sure, I'm getting like a like a cheddar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously. Now the other ones was a lot, a little less, like a little more subtle, the flavor. Yeah. This one you get, sorry, this you get a lot more old. cheese. Yeah. Oh, I just pulled that completely off. Dog. Wow. So mm. these ones are actually the mild cheddar. Okay. So but then I ran out of the mild cheddar and uh -huh. I had to use the Mexican blend of shredded cheese on the rest. Ah, so. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I just can't get over that crispiness. It just tastes so much like a cheese. It. Yeah. Really no, I feel like the other one, the the one with the uh, the one with the shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. I think it was crispier than these. Really? Mm -hmm. The first one you tried? Yes. No. This is the one with the, the cheddar mm -hmm. cheese, right? Yeah. Is yours crispier? Yeah. This You're is right. the first one. That she made. The ones we tried first was the second round with okay. the Fiesta. Then I think the, the Fiesta lime one is or Fiesta lime, Fiesta Mexican <sighs> cheese thing. Fiesta lime. Um, that one seemed more crunchy. That's because there's not as much cheese because I had shredded cheese, uh -huh. and so it was burning quicker. That happens. And so it was being crispy uh, faster. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back. <laughs> I'm try Can this one. his favorite. Well, hold on, I'm, I'm gonna switch back. Just trying to get a good. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about so this. So from the hot dog, like... I'm definitely getting you know the hot dog. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean that's. I and mean, the hot dog tastes good. Like it's good, but for me the the, the deciding factor is. I think the cheddar cheese is better. Definitely the cheese, and I'll agree the the cheddar cheese one for me just has better a better kick to mm -hmm. it. It does. I don't know what it is. It's that. It's distinct cheddar, distinct cheddar flavor. Cheese it. Oh, that's what they use in the video too. Yeah, so. and it look, it tastes just like a cheese it. And honestly, it's a good snack if you're, you know, like me on on, on a diet here, trying to trying to do a little bit of slimming down for you know for look, look swimsuit at, season. You guys can't, you guys can't see how greasy this is, but it's super greasy. Mm, so I love the really listening greasy. Yeah. Yeah, I. 10 out of 10, what do you get? Yeah, I like it. Um, 10 out of 10, everyday snack for the show. <laughs> what are you guys eating? Oh, we're eating cheese dogs. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll have to try bacon with them at some point. Like wrap, so wrap the hot dog in bacon, then do the cheese over that to yes. bring it all together. Ooh. I think thinking. that's what this is missing. Oh, yeah. I was almost thinking maybe a, something to dunk it in. 
since it's a Ooh. like the look at that. Ranch. just a little cheese sleeve going on. There. <laughs> you got the cheese sleeve. Oh, oh that crunch that, though. Oh. So good. This is the first time I've ever made a hot dog. You did good. Oh, sorry. You did darn good on that hot dog. <laughs> I like the layering of the cheese, by the way. Yeah. So, I think I got a dud with the with the cheddar one, because the cheddar one that I got is this a cheddar one? Mm. No. No. Oh, it's not. Mm -mm. Looks like it. That's what I thought. But. Mm -hmm. So, anyways. Person. I think I got a dud with the cheddar one because overall the texture wise on the on the shredded uh, like cheese. I like how we've all just skinned our hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we know what's really important here, guys. <laughs> it's it's just the, the cheese. cheese. It's the I mean, cheese. We've all had hot dogs. We've all had hot dogs. But we've never had cheese. But toasted cheese. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys haven't tried it. You need to try it. It doesn't get much more American than toasted cheese. <laughs> but we put cheese on everything. Yeah. Especially the two of us. Yep, definitely. That's our, that's, that's our go to. Yep. You should, just ask, you should just ask them at work. They're always giving me a hard time. Like, well, no, what cheese dish are you having today? It doesn't have as much in it, and I want to know yeah. how crispy it is. Bite into it. Take a side view. Just... I'm disappointed. Didn't hear much crunch. I didn't hear any crunch. There's at no all. crunch. There was, there, was a not, there was a negative crunch. There was a negative, <laughs> a negative, negative five of crunch. That stinks. 10 out of 10, would not eat that one again. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, no, uh, yeah, the hot dogs went really well with it. I like the... Uh, it gives good flavor. It mixes yeah, very it well. mixes well, yeah. I That's think I, I would go say. with sausage next. That would be, like, strong, now, I feel like. Uh, like that would be nice. A snack that I've been eating a lot here lately, mm -hmm. on my little low-carb kick. kick here, is pretty much kind of a similar thing. I take cheese, and I put a little bit of shredded cheese on a skillet, and then I take me a, like, a mozzarella, uh, like, string cheese... Uh -huh. Or like a sharp cheddar ch cheese chunk, and I'll slap that right in the middle, and then I'll roll it over and let it cook on the edge, and then you basically get a like a grilled fried cheese stick almost. No breading, the breading is the cheese, and it is ten out of ten. We may have to try that sometime. Yeah, definitely. Uh, another thing that we've tried that I think is well, even the wieners. <laughs> way way wieners. Way God, you, this is not appropriate. Um, so I'm sorry, you have a dirty mind. Oof. Um, so another thing I think we should try for this show, um, we've already tried it before. It's not necessarily something new, but we should teach them how to make grilled cheese peanut butter and jellies. Yes, the grilled PB and J. Or, no Oof. cheese, but yeah. Omit, I thought everybody knew how to make that. It's better than it sounds. It's delicious. Well, if they don't. But if you've got any other things you'd like us to try, you know, yeah. no matter what it is, let us know in the comments. We'd be more than happy to try it out. And maybe even have somebody on the show to, try to make it for us. And if we you ever want to see Chef Nacho Becca again, smash that like button. Yes. Subscribe. Let, hashtag Nacho Becca. So, uh, yeah. So what do we think? On a scale of 1 to 10. Um, I would give it a 7. 7? I feel like... Well, the, like I said, yourself. The, <laughs> the second hot dog I had was very disappointing with the cheddar. So I could taste the cheese, but the texture on the first one was nice and crunchy. It had that good, like, uh, hard cheese, you know. It was, like, it was like the cheese it Whereas the second one was kind of moist, a little bit soggy. You could really get the cheddar out of it. But you were looking for that crunch? But I was looking for that crunch. Now, I'll say when I had that one, uh, I, I must have got lucky and got a good... good yeah, so I think if I fused those two, like the cheddar plus the crunch, one. I would have gave it a 10. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Um, I'll, I'll say I'll give it a 9 out of 10, just because hot dogs aren't my number one favorite thing in the world. But the cheese, you put that crispy cheese wrapped around anything, I need an old shoe you wrap it in cheese. <laughs> okay, Chef, I'm you. What, what, what would you give it? Three out of ten. Three out of ten. Explain yourself. Wait, for the recipe or the actual taste itself? Taste itself. Yeah, we're mainly going on taste here. I would have used the towel to dab the grease a little bit. So it was a little too greasy for you? A little you? too greasy. Fork and knife. So yeah, I'd, I'd say about six out of ten for taste. Because okay. I don't like grease. But, uh... Really good. 
Should have been crispier. I needed to cook the cheese a little longer. That might have been it. But for what it was and for how it was made. Heck and good. Oh, yeah. I'd eat it again. I agree. Definitely. Yeah. Heck and good. Hey, thanks, thanks again for joining us for another episode of the Fandom Minutes. Hope you enjoyed watching us devour them wieners. Matt, let them know what we got next week. Well, now that we've ate all the wieners, next week we've got the Joker. So next week we were thinking we would review the Joker movie. Very controversial. Um, got movie of the year. Um, won a ton, ton of nominations. We'll go over the nominations it got. And Mike here hasn't seen it. So this will be fresh out of the gate for him. I've seen it. Uh, I won't go into what I felt about it because that's for next week's episode. See you guys. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. And let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next, whether it be eating a food, whether it be watching a movie, playing a game, reviewing something, whatever you got, you let us know. And we'll see you then.